Patricky Pitbull versus David the Caveman Rickles in Rickles' hometown. The crowd was chanting, they were screaming, they had pictures of Rickles' face, they were booing Patricky Pitbull. A chorus of boos greeting Patricky Pitbull. Quite simply, he does not care. That was hostile ground. I mean, that was about as, as partisan a crowd as I have ever seen. And there are fighters that feed off the energy of the crowd. That makes them go, that makes them fight harder, that intimidates them once the other way around, and there are guys who don't notice it at all, who think the crowd can be screaming against me, they can be screaming for me, I don't care. They have this like tunnel vision, especially as a foreign fighter, a fighter from Brazil, or you're flying seven hours to get to a fight, well, guess what? You're in that guy's backyard, and you have to be able to, to just tune that kind of thing out. And what struck me about that fight is Pitbull in the past had been so aggressive that he leaves openings for his opponents. That had been his downfall. In this fight, he was very cautious early. He was very tight early. He was very almost passive early on in that fight, and Rickles was having his way with him. And then, bam, he found the opening and landed a left-right combo that just flattened Caveman Rickles. Left hand. That's it! Pitbull looking to finish and he dies! Hurt him. Caveman tried to come back and boom, that left hook just destroyed him. It showed a different side to Patricky Pitbull in that tournament. He doesn't have to be the aggressor all the time. He can take his time, find the opening, and take his opponents out. It showed he can do both. It showed he can, you know, maintain himself when he's under attack, not let the crowd take him out of his game plan. He can find the opening and be the sniper not just the guy with the machine gun who's spraying all the time. It's a matter of being the sniper. He's capable of doing that. Oh,